Will you stay with me? Why me? Yes, we're still reeling over the fact that Victorious finished before Cabby could happen. But let's take a look back at these love stories, even though some are definitely cuter than others. I think that Evan guy is really dumb for not seeing how great you are. Even Jade and Beck have their share of cute moments when they're not fighting like crazy. Although Beck and Jade have the most focused on relationship on the show, we aren't sure how it actually started since they were already dating when Victorious began. It's not hard to imagine them meeting since they go to the same school. It's just kind of surprising how Bade stayed together so long considering their constant fighting. The first episode not only established Beck and Jade as a couple, but threw Tori into the mix when she showed up unaware of their relationship. Of course, it would have been nice of Beck to fill her in at some point considering her flirtatious behavior towards him. This first episode is also where we see Beck and Tori share a smooch for the first time, even if it was only during an alphabetical improv activity at school. Needless to say, Jade wasn't exactly fond of Tori or her improv abilities after this. Of course she was mad at Beck too, but that's pretty much the norm with these two. Even though Jade and Beck were together for most of the show, their relationship definitely had its share of tests. It was just enough to give the Bory shippers hope that Beck and Tori would end up together, especially when Beck and Jade started breaking up and getting back together. Jade is furious when she finds out Beck was hanging out with Alyssa Vaughn, and even though he insists they're just friends, Jade unsurprisingly has an issue with this. The two of them even try to get Tori in on their argument, but even she can't save them and Jade ends up dumping Beck. We're done. Jade! So you're breaking up with me? Almost immediately, Beck starts spending time with Tori and reveals that he's actually happy about his breakup with Jade. Why? Because I can't remember the last time she did one nice thing for me. Yeah, the lesson here is don't get your boyfriend a can of lemonade for his birthday. But despite Jade's jealousy issues and Beck feeling unappreciated, their breakup doesn't even last the whole episode, and they get back together after a scheme involving Tori, Beck's RV, and an angry Rottweiler. You know, a standard victorious shenanigan. But even though things are back on with Jade, Beck's connection with Tori stays intense. In the very next episode, Tori the Zombie, Kat decides to give Tori a monster makeover that goes wrong when industrial cement gets involved and Tori's stuck looking like something out of The Walking Dead. But despite her appearance, there's definite chemistry between Tori and Beck when they appear in a school play together. Even playwright Sophia and Michelle loved their performance while largely ignoring Jade and Robbie's contributions. Yeah, and uh, did you enjoy my performance, Miss Michelle? Wow, I am late for my plane. Clearly, Tori and Jade didn't exactly get off on the right foot, but that didn't stop some Jory fans from hoping they'd end up together. This might seem totally out of left field, but it wouldn't be the first time we saw a love-hate relationship lead to a romantic one. There's Sam and Freddie from iCarly, and Josh and Mindy from Drake and Josh. But sorry, Jory fans, because these two never got to be more than friends, and even that took a lot of work on both of their parts. Let's take a brief break from talking about the Beck love triangle and talk about possibly the most popular ship on Victorious, Cabby. Seriously, how could anyone hate on this super cute couple? Fans loved the idea of Kat and Robbie getting together so much that it even spilled over into the real world. Fans were desperate for Ariana Grande and Matt Bennett to date in real life and even called them by their couple name, Mariana. These two were definitely cute together behind the scenes but remained friends and castmates. Kat and Robbie were both kind to each other, and it seemed like their friendship provided the perfect foundation for a great relationship. During the whole episode when Kat dated Daniel, Robbie definitely seemed jealous about the situation. Even though Robbie's a little bit on the shy side, he can't hide his feelings for Kat, and even asked her to prom. I don't know if maybe, you know, you'd want to go to prom with me? Unfortunately, she said no because she already had a date, but she seemed to genuinely regret having to turn down his invitation. There are definitely plenty of Bade fans out there, but some Victorious viewers think they're just the worst couple, which is also the name of the episode where they break up for a second time. The two agreed to take part in Sinjin's game show, Queries for Couples, but can't do so without arguing. This fight culminates in a big revelation courtesy of Beck, who's clearly fed up with Jade's controlling ways. He was a I don't care! I'm not happy with our relationship! Even their own friends can't stand their constant fighting at this point. Jade walks away and Beck lets her go. Unlike their last breakup, this one sticks and they even update their lack of a relationship on the slap. Which is how you know it's serious. 
With Jade and Beck broken up, Tori's big sister Trina decides to take a chance at pursuing him. Well, kind of. She spreads a rumor that she and Beck are dating in order to make other guys jealous and get them to ask her out. If people think that you're interested in me, then other guys will want to date me and pretty soon I'll have boys fighting over me. Apparently, she didn't learn the lesson from Jade that jealousy isn't cute. In Car, Rain, and Fire, Trina throws herself quite literally at Beck to get attention, and he decides to teach her a lesson by showing her that having a bunch of guys fighting over her isn't always fun. He kisses her in order to make her believe that he's sincerely interested in her, but it's all part of the plan. Despite the fact that Trina clearly has a crush on Beck, which doesn't go away after this episode, the feeling is not mutual and nothing beyond friendship grows between them. After the bad Bade breakup, Beck and Tori clearly have feelings for each other which come out somewhat in the episode Tori Goes Platinum. Tori wins a contest which earns her the privilege of opening at the Platinum Music Awards. But things go wrong when she refuses to play along with Mason's makeover and Jade gets the role instead. Beck and Tori almost share a smooch before being interrupted, but the second time they come close to locking lips, Tori is the one who hits the brakes, much to the surprise of Beck and Bori fans everywhere. Then why can't we kiss? Because of Jade. Kissing her ex-boyfriend? I can't do that to a friend. While Beck clearly isn't feeling any loyalty to his ex-girlfriend at the moment, Tori just can't say the same. Although she and Jade haven't exactly been besties, Tori considers her a friend and felt wrong making a move on her ex. Tori misses out on kissing Beck, but Jade gives her back her role in the Platinum Music Awards after being touched by her kindness. In The Blonde Squad, Kat, Jade, and Tori find out that the blondes don't always have more fun. Kat meets a cute guy named Evan Smith who ends up having an issue with her hair color. But I'm really into blondes. Later, despite the fact that Kat's upset over another guy, Robbie makes his feelings for her crystal clear between the words, I think that Evan guy is really dumb for not seeing how great you are, and the fact that he serenades her with, I think you're swell. I love you like a cop's marathon on TV. I love you more than the original Star Wars trilogy. Jade's jealousy was a major issue regarding her relationship with Beck, and as we saw over and over again, even her friends grew tired of it. But during their time apart, Jade was forced to confront her feelings and realized that her efforts to keep Beck close were just pushing him away. In the episode Opposite Date, Beck and Tori agreed to go with a group, but when Andre and Robbie dropped out, Tori had some concerns. If it's just the two of us, then it's like… a date! So they decided to make it the opposite of a date by not dressing nicely, eating bad food, and not having any fun. See you at 7, I'm not looking forward to it. But of course, they end up having a nice time anyway, even when Jade shows up. Beck and Tori prepare for the worst by surprisingly, I'm not mad. Jade tells Beck he can spend time with Tori or anyone else he wants to, and fans' his hopes for Beck and Tori finally getting together were at an all-time high. But not only do Beck and Tori fail to progress beyond their opposite date, but then we have the episode Tori fixes Beck and Jade. Beck is still worried about making Jade jealous and finding her a date is an issue due to her intimidating personality. Uh, how much did you pay him to uh, ask Jade out? A lot of money. But the plan doesn't work out for a couple of reasons. The first is that Gilbert loses his cool and reveals his lack of interest, and the second is that Beck realizes he isn't into Meredith or any girls that are just too easy to get along with. I think I just like dating a girl who, you know, fights back. Beck confesses he still has feelings for Jade, and the two of them get back together once again. I've missed you, what are you going to do about it? This was the final reconciliation of Beck and Jade, and a major disappointment for fans holding out hope Bori was ever going to happen. Even though Cabby never officially happened either, we did see them share a super sweet moment during the episode 1000 Berry Balls. Kat worries that Robbie is going to ask her to the cowboy luau, not because she doesn't like him, but because she's scared of ruining their friendship. She's so nervous about the potential of messing things up that she goes to Jade for help, who is apparently not a Cabby fan. Gross, don't say gross, I like Robbie. When Kat finds out he's going with Gabriella, she gets jealous and the two end up sharing a kiss at the cowwow in anyway, even if Kat runs away from Robbie and her feelings afterwards. Ariana Grande promised fans via Twitter that Cabby would definitely happen in a future episode, but sadly the show wasn't renewed and that never ended up happening. Who's your favorite victorious couple? Even if they didn't end up together on the show, share your true pairing with us in the comment section. Stay connected to us here at The Things by clicking on that subscribe button and turning on your notifications for more great videos. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again next time.